So today I am going to be doing my DIY coffee table. Now the coffee table that I already have is from Ikea. We bought it maybe a couple years ago and the kids have done homework on it. So there are like literally markers, pens, like it is torn up. I will show you what it looks like, but the structure of the table is still really, really good. And so I thought, why not cover it with marble contact paper? Such an affordable way to spruce up a piece that you already have, that you already love, and just make it look a little bit more snazzy and um, you know, add that marble touch to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. And I'm really excited to see how it turns out because this poor table is looking so disastrous. So let's just go ahead and get started and hopefully you guys find this really helpful. Also, if you would like to see more DIY videos, I have like all these awesome ideas. So um, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more DIY videos. Also give this video a thumbs up. Um, that way I know that you are interested in more DIYs and we could be DIY crafty people together. Okay, so. so here is the table. So from far away it looks fine, <laughs> but then when you get up close, do you guys see all this marker from my kids? This scraping from cleaning it and scrubbing it so many times to try and get the marker off. It looks like super dirty, but it's actually not dirty. It's just like stained with dirt. Like look at all this mess. It's terrible. It's just marker central. Um, and then also, the bottom piece has gotten some scratches as well because I've been keeping baskets under here. So that's a little worn as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both this shelf and this top and we're gonna bring it over the lip here cause like look, the marker comes over as well. So we're gonna be doing two pieces all together. So here is all the items that I will be needing for this DIY. So we've got some scissors to cut the actual marble roll. Uh, this is, what is this babe? These are the, um pads you put things on so that oh, they to don't move scratch them. your floor. Okay, but so we're gonna try both to like roll out the paper to get rid of the bubbles, but we also have a gift card as well just in case. First I'm gonna clean off the actual, uh, like, you know, the top of the um, table with this so that there's no dust or crumbs or anything like that. We have a razor, a measuring tape, and then here's the marble paper, paper, the marble paper. It's contact paper. It is uh, self-adhesive and it's just in a marble design. I got this off of Amazon. It's just by Design Foley. I've never used this one before, but I'm hoping that it's going to look delightful. And it says that it is, what is it? 17 inches wide and six and a half feet long. Both of the tops are completely clean. So now we are gonna start trying to figure out exactly how much we need for the actual top. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to go, I probably will have to go lengthways, I'm guessing. I think so. Cause then we could just do it in the middle. Let's measure the middle. Okay. Right there is half of the table. So I think that's how we're gonna do it so that we have the majority of it being lengthways versus like three different strips. I think it's just better to go this way. And then we are gonna allow so that we have enough to like f like lip over and tuck it over this little edge here because I want it to look like the whole piece is just a one big marble top. Take it easy. 
Okay, so basically now what we're doing is folding over the side part first and Jay is just rubbing it so that it's all tucked in. And then we're gonna make a little slit here so that we can wrap this around. Push that guy in. Okay, so the corners have have actually been a little tricky. Basically, I cut here and then this kind of overlaps over a tiny little bit. So there's kind of this little piece. This is definitely the hardest part that I wasn't necessarily ready <laughs> ready for. It's not going to be noticeable though, like in everyday life. But you can see that tiny little seam right there. I think you can see it. Um, but you know what? Whatever. It's okay. This is... This is my first DIY marble coffee table, so I'm not gonna be perfect the first time. Oh, this is crooked. <laughs> it goes that way. Gives it character. Totes. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side and try and make the line straight this time. Wish us luck. Okay, so because we messed it up somehow, don't ask, we have decided to overlap this only by an inch and a half. So we're gonna overlap on this side so that we can match it up on that side where it was supposed we, we to be. Sort of totally. Oh. And we also flipped this around so that we're rolling from the other side so that these kind of match up so that it looks like a little bit more as one. It, yeah, we totally meant to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and start from this side now and stick it over the overlapping bit so that we are actually gonna have a straight line versus like a way crooked one. Okay, so now Jay is just cutting so that we can tuck that side under. And then we're also gonna tuck, actually this is, no, we're gonna have to take about that much off of this side so that we can tuck it underneath the edge. Okay guys, so there is the top. So when you get up close, you can definitely see the seam, but I feel like once there's stuff on the table, no one is gonna know. And then from afar, it looks like you just have this really gorgeous marble table. So now we're gonna go ahead and do this piece. That top took two rolls, and then we have these leftover pieces, but these aren't big enough for this. So we're gonna go ahead and open a brand new roll for this piece, just so that we're not, um, otherwise we would have had to cut another piece lengthways and it would have wasted a whole roll. So we're gonna just save these for like another um, smaller piece that might come along one day. So now we're basically just gonna do the exact same thing with this, except we are just going to cut it right along the edge with a razor versus folding over. My camera doesn't wanna focus right now.
Okay, so now we're basically going to do the exact same thing that we just did to this side. On that side, we're lining it up this time because our line actually was straight. Woohoo! We're getting better. We're getting better. And then we're just going to basically put it all on that side and then cut all, all around all the edges so that it's nice and flush. So for the front edge, we basically yeah, just flipped it over the side so that there would be no like white showing so that this is gonna be the front piece that goes in the front of the coffee table. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks like an expensive piece of marble sitting in a coffee table. 